makes the overflowing rubbish bins look nice. <laughs> so the dream has happened. We've woken up and it is still snowing. And it's really cold, but it's beautiful. I just had a little photo shoot and Alex was very mad at me because his hands were cold. My hands are the warmest part of me. <laughs> you were like, doing it so angry, like, are you done yet? Yeah. Is that fine? <laughs> Alex decided to walk to the gym with me because I asked him to because I thought why not if it's snowing yeah. and um, I want to see if there's snow on the beach because that would be pretty <laughs> cool um, but yeah let's go oh my god I think there's going to be snow on the beach I'm so excited but well, there's dogs excited too ah! Alex I've got no I've got cold ankles that's so mean no. Yeah, hurry up. Uh, Gotta get there quicker then. No, but I've got wet. There's snow on the beach. There's snow on the beach. That is snow on the beach. There's snow on the beach. Snow on the beach. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. The sea's so quiet. Mm. This is so cool, I can't quite believe the smell of the beach. You need to take some selfies. What? I want to remember this. Ah, that's why we make videos. Yeah, but I want pictures. Look how beautiful it is. There's not very many people out here. I guess everyone's at work. What time is it? So yeah, it's, not even, it's like 8.30, so where is everybody? I would be out here. Yeah, it's like time to head to work. They yeah. might have been out earlier. It's just so cool. My feet are frozen though because I'm obviously wearing trainers that have like tiny little <laughs> holes in them and there's water going yeah. through. But oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love like there's a puppy over there. snow and I know some people like whatever, it's just snow, but I just love nature. I just think it's so cool. Like how cool is the fact there's snow on a beach in, the, in like when it's supposed to be coming into spring. <laughs> this always happens, doesn't it? February's always cold. Though. And if it always happens where it's, it teases you into spring and then suddenly it snows. It happened, I remember, years ago in April at like Easter Day. <coughs> Easter Day, Easter Sunday. <laughs> On Easter yeah. Sunday it snowed and we made an igloo and it was like crazy snow. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm really, really hard. I need to go to the gym. Okay, <gasps> see you later. Bye. Ah, this is so cool. I think I've only, I've only ever been on a beach once in the snow before. And that was in my first year at university where it snowed like crazy. Uh, on the final day of the winter term. That's why I just went and sat on the beach with my suitcase when I was waiting for my train. And he said it looked like a snow cloud coming in. And there is. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Snow on the beach, it feels like I'm in Iceland or something. Like I've gone to the Arctic Circle. Although apparently many parts of Britain are colder than the Arctic Circle this week. British newspapers love to make a big deal out of it when we're colder than Norway and Iceland and Finland and stuff. I want to take some refuge down here for a second. It's like the blizzard came for about a minute. And now it's gone again and the skies have cleared up. Anyway, I just thought I'd chat here. I'd probably do it at home with Maddie. But I thought, why not? I'm out. I woke up to come out in the snow. May as well make the most of it while it lasts. So in case you didn't already know, we had a lovely weekend. It was the first weekend in a while where I genuinely felt like I did absolutely no work. And it was lovely. I made the wise decision not to take my laptop. They did have internet there, but it was nice just to have no laptop. Just have my phone, have a book, just chill out in front of the fire. I really wish we had a fire in this flat. We could really do with one. It's so cold. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Here come the springers. They want their owners to come on the beach and play, but their owners are just wandering down the path. Too cold for no hat. Hat goes back on. Uh, I can see the pier now. Yay! <laughs> Sky's clearing up. 
it's gonna be a beautiful day just freezing so we've inadvertently filmed five days in a row which means this vlog probably won't go up until like a week after it snowed this won't go up until March and I'll have been to Newcastle and back by the time this goes up uh, I was looking at I foolishly because I wasn't 100% sure like what the plan was what time I was gonna go because originally everyone else I'm going with is coming from Edinburgh so originally because on the train it's only like an hour hour and a half from Newcastle to Edinburgh and the Hove to Edinburgh train was cheaper than the Hove to Newcastle train for some reason this was a few weeks ago so I was gonna head to Edinburgh join up with them and then get the train down and we were gonna um, you know play a few drinking games and catch up on the train uh, but they ended up getting an earlier train because it was much cheaper <laughs> Back in the flat now, in case you hadn't noticed, ran out of space on the memory card on the beach. It's probably a, a sign for me to stop wittering on about travel plans. But anyway, Sunday, train to Durham. Monday, train, Durham to Hove. So that should be fun. Which means that because I treated this weekend as like a four day weekend, well I did do some, I did do some work yesterday. Uh, I did some finances and stuff for Maddie's taxes, that kind of thing. Because of that, I've basically got to cram a lot of work into three days, so lots and lots of editing to come. <laughs> what did you just do? Nothing. You? I used the cinnamon. You finished all of the cinnamon without thinking about me. Alex is the sort of person who'll go get himself a cup of water and not offer me one. That is my biggest pet hate, when you go and get yourself a cup of water and come back out or a drink when it's dinner and you don't even ask if I want one after I just made you dinner. So I'm mad because he didn't make me porridge and he used up all the cinnamon. So I'm gonna have cinnamonless porridge. Nasty boy. I'm in a good mood though because um, I mean, it's, I'm just kind of being silly um, because it's still snowing outside and I just walked home from the gym in the snow listening to classical music and I think that's the most spectacular Spectacular! Spectacular! That, that's the most like amazing thing to do, especially like when it's on the beach. Oh my god, it's just so incredible. Like, best start to the day. I feel like I don't want to do any work because I feel in this sort of cloud of happiness of it being snowy outside. Do you know what I mean, Alex? What? It's kind of like when it's really sunny outside, it's hard to work. When it's snowing like this, it's hard to work. Um, it's hard to make me myself get into the, well I don't know, I haven't started work yet, but like it's hard for me to think right now that I have to sit down and do sensible things, I just want to run outside and play. In a way, yes, yeah, it's like holidays. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But this week, um, I, what I've been doing recently with work is um, I balance my weeks so that um, one week I'll have more work on, so the types of videos that I film will require more work and then the next week I'll make it a bit more chilled out, so this week I've set myself a bit more chilled out videos that don't take as much filming and as much planning which is good and that way I can work on other things and have a bit more of a relaxed week because I, it's been working out for me anyway you probably don't even notice on my channel because it just seems like I'm uploading but um some weeks I'll do like a full-on recipe video with like five recipes and then a sit down video where I have to film as a b-roll and then this week for example I'm doing a video for eating disorder awareness week which will just require me sitting down and chatting for like half an hour or so and that's all and then um, I'm going to be doing a what I ate today which is literally just me just filming what I'm eating so that doesn't really require anything either so that's my week and then the rest of the stuff I am going to give myself time to work on my website and my blog because if you didn't know I'm working on that and yeah maybe let me know if you guys would like to see a behind the scenes of a work day for us and what we're doing because i've seen a few people do this on instagram on their story where they will um show what they're doing in the day i think zana oh, what's her name zana van dyke has done it and somebody else did it raw alignment did it and i found it really interesting as a person who works online to see the way that they form their day so if we if you want to see that we'll do that and we'll talk about all the things we're doing throughout the day and how we plan our day so 
Yeah, let us know. I think the last clip was us making porridge. Now it is... Da -da -da, nearly 7 o'clock. <laughs> now we're going to watch the Mad Men. Yeah. We got back into it. Maddie's made... Oh my gosh! I've just been sat here editing. <coughs> Maddie's made what smells like an amazing pesto pasta featuring yeah. sun-dried tomatoes and Linda McCartney sausages, mm -hmm. did you say? Yeah. Where are they? And some test bread cheese. Oh, there's one. Yum. And, oh no, Sainsbury's. Have you not got many sausages by taking them all? I don't see many sausages, but it's fine. I don't know how oh, many you cooked. Okay, I'm not, I've missed them. Too. It's the Sainsbury's vegan cheddar and chive. I think that's the one. And it's easily one of the best vegan yeah, cheeses out there, I think. Good. And it's nice and cheap. 